who's in here? Somebody's in here. Anyways, it's 8.27 a.m. September 30th, 2022. I, unfortunately, am riding alone this morning. Her, too, has suffered a medical issue this morning. She's got a super large knot cramping up in the back of her thigh. She can hardly move, let alone get dressed. So unfortunately, she's sending me into the belly of the beast all by myself, which makes her feel even worse. She thinks it's because I think that she's not going, you know, like she's abandoning me or something. But it's also partly because she thinks that they're going to do something to me while I'm there by myself. But that's not going to happen. So anyways, today is September 30th, almost 8.30 a.m. Eastern Standard Time. I am on my way to the Newport News Circuit Court, downtown Newport News. Today we are scheduled to have a motions hearing. Uh, my attorney, Mr. Daniel Weingard, the assistant public defender for the city of Newport News, has filed a motion with the Commonwealth attorney in the matter of Chief Drew versus me uh, from four years ago. We've still been trying to get to trial since February 2019. For anybody that's not informed, it's been on appeal since then, February 13th, 2019. So it's been on appeal for over three years. The initial incident happened in October 23rd, 2018. So we're quickly approaching the four year anniversary of the incident. Uh, it was finally set for trial. That's gonna be in two weeks, maybe. I believe it's the 12th and the 13th of October. Uh, but my attorney, Mr. Weingard, filed a motion with the court and the Commonwealth's attorney to ask them to provide a bill of particulars. Uh, which is a term that I had not heard used before in a criminal matter. Uh, I had heard it before in civil matters. Uh, generally speaking, what my understanding of it was before was that, for instance, you, you know, you let's say you have a credit card and you racked it up and then you didn't pay the bill and then the credit card company came after you to sue you in civil court to recover what you spent. You can then ask the credit card company uh, or any other creditor to provide what's called a bill of particulars, which basically is a list, an itemized list of things that they say that you've spent their money on that they're trying to recover. Uh, like I said, I've never heard it used in a criminal case, but I did look it up in the Virginia Code this morning. It is used in criminal procedure here in the Commonwealth of Virginia. And basically what my attorney has done is asked for the Commonwealth attorney to provide specific information about the claims that they've alleged uh, as far as disorderly conduct goes. Uh, they have never once, not during trial in general district court level, not in the probable cause affidavit or written statement by the chief Drew, not once have they ever actually listed any specific disorderly conduct that would be, you know, allow them to pursue this prosecution that they've pursued this whole time. And they just turned around and said no. They he already says he has a transcript and he has an audio recording of it and have the probable cause affidavit and so on and so forth. And they're just not going to give me any specifics <laughs> that I'm supposed to defend against. And uh, I will be posting phone calls later. But I got one. I called uh, Mr. Weingard yesterday, of course, the day before our hearing here. So I had a couple questions, and of course. Uh, They've decided to pull some new tricks. Uh, we were of the belief that perhaps the Commonwealth Attorney was gonna null across the charges today at this hearing. Uh, but I guess Mr. Weingard spoke with Ms. Bowden, the Commonwealth Attorney again, and she has told him of some new information regarding me making threatening phone calls uh, that that is a reason why she's not going to null across the disorderly conduct and trespassing charges today, but yet, what they're saying is they have some secret recording of some phone call where I made threats to somebody and it's enough for them to try to obfuscate and hamper and delay and whatever, but they haven't bothered to charge me with any crime. So there's this secret mystery phone call that we're supposed to find out about today, I guess, and find out what's going on. And I uh, thought we were going to walk out of here today with an all pros, but apparently she withdrew that because now she's offended. So I think what they're gonna try and do is they're gonna try and ask for another continuance on um, a court date, which is in, like I said, in two weeks, the 12th and 13th, I believe. No right turn on red, sir. Uh, 
Susan has this feeling that they're going to arrest me. And I don't see that happening. They don't have anything to arrest me for because clearly in all the times that I and Newport News Police Department have interacted in the past four years, if they were going to, if they had something to arrest me on, they would arrest me. They wouldn't play games and, you know, dangle something around and pretend and whatever. So that's where we're at now. Uh, like I said, unfortunately, her too can't, didn't get to come this morning because she's having a really bad leg cramp in the back of her thigh. She barely moved. And she, even if she could get dressed and make it down here, sitting in the court on them hard ass benches, it's just not gonna work for her. So I am flying solo today, unfortunately for Susan. I don't know where everybody is at. I, we are everybody. I got five viewers, just five more than I usually got. So, so right now we're getting the fringes of hurricane, whatever the fuck it is there that plowed across Florida. It is a nice gloomy rainy day here in Newport News. Temperature is 61 degrees and rainy. Fall has fallen. And now hopefully the chief of police will have fallen because uh, we're gonna put an end to this today. So uh, I guess it's just an update. I wanted to tell people that we were going to court for this hearing. There'll be more exciting news or something after the hearing more than what I can tell you right now because maybe we'll find out about the secret information about the threatening phone calls or whatever it is. Oh, you know I'll be careful. Who else? The most careful person you know. So, I can kind of see the chat while I'm driving. I'm about to be hopping off 664, 65 miles an hour trying to make it down here in 26 minutes. So if somebody posts something and I don't answer, well, it's because I'm driving. No distracted driving. Oh, I did ask, I wanted to say, I did ask Mr. Weingard yesterday when I spoke to him on the phone. I mean, uh, we're already having the hearing about the bill of particulars, and I forgot to mention the other thing that he was going to ask. What the fuck are you doing, man? Get in your fucking lane, you fucking mook. If you can't drive that thing, get off the fucking road. Uh, he's also going to bring up audio video recording at the trial, if it even gets to trial. Uh, but that, what reminded me to say that was that I asked him yesterday on the phone also if he would be willing either to use my phone or to use his phone to make an audio recording of today's hearing. And he says that he's going to ask the judge today if we can audio record. And I think that's going to put a little more pressure on the Commonwealth Attorney too, because I think that's half the reason they're stalling, is that because they know that I want to audio a video record the lies that they're going to try and put in front of a jury. So, hopefully Mr. Weingard will be able to follow through on that. He told me he's going to try, he's going to ask the judge. If the judge says no, there's nothing we can do about it, he says. But I will be uh, noting my displeasure to the judge on the record if that's in case, in fact, the case that he says, no, we can't audio record it. But that's clearly not uh, in the interest of transparency and an open and public trial. If you can't even record what the government wants to say against you. So we'll see how that goes. Running out of time though, down to 24 minutes to make it all the way downtown. Here we go. 664. So who do we got here? We got seven people. I know one of them is her too. There's her too now. Unfortunately though, I won't have time to take the phone over there and give a bunch of crap to my favorite deputies at the security desk. I don't have time this morning. And the weather of course is not really conducive to that anyways. Her 
but that's what I like to do. I like to bogle. What can I say? I'm that kind of guy. But the law is the law and the Constitution is the Constitution, I'm afraid. So, anyways, I will come home, of course. If anybody's going to come home, it's going to be me. Now, Andrea Bode, she might not go home. She might leave and go straight to the bar and have her a couple shots as she gets her ass handed to her by this unemployed meth head loser uh, who just stalks cops, just a troublemaker. And yet we keep winning in court, don't we? So there must be something I'm doing right if I keep winning in court and we're gonna win again. We're gonna win today. And if not today, in two weeks. But like Steve said, oh, those many years ago, if it even makes it to court, alleging the crime criminal act that occurred that I'm being prosecuted for which is something that they have never been able to come with now in three and some years which is why they're stalling uh, Mr. Weingard is also planning to ask the judge today if, that, if and when we make it to trial that we be allowed to audio and video record the proceedings uh, he is also going to ask this morning if he can use his phone to audio record the hearing this morning threatening phone call that the Commonwealth attorney is dangling over Mr. Weingart's head that supposedly I made some threatening phone call but clearly I've not been arrested for anything, not been charged with any new charges, so it just sounds like another stalling tactic. Uh, we'll see how that plays out. She wouldn't tell him exactly what it was that I said or to who I called or whatever either, so he's just as much in a fucking fog about it as I am. So, yeah, that's right. If I, if I had committed a criminal act, especially some threatening towards the police, they definitely would have revoked my bond. And they haven't. So, anyways, that's the summary there. Let's see, we're just passing. I don't know, that's the Hampton Road Center Highway. So, a couple more exits to go to get to 664 South. And, uh, we'll be down there. And I'm going to go in here and be on my best behavior. And uh, hopefully we'll walk away there from there victorious today. So uh, I'm going to wrap this one up and I will be back as soon as I walk back out of the courtroom today and get in back into the truck. And I will be telling you all, all about it. So don't give me any excuses. I never do. They just make their own excuses. So anyways, going to wrap it up. Love you, her too. See all you people in a little while. Hearing starts at nine. At least it's scheduled for nine. Probably won't start till ten. Uh, I hope to be out of there by noon at the latest. But we'll see. You never know what they're going to do. So thanks to anybody that came and tuned in to see what was going on. Uh, there will be updates here sometime. Let's say sometime later today, and we'll go from there. Thanks for coming.